guys welcome back to the channel today we're gonna make a video of us or me coding the headers off the OBS now originally I had told you guys that I was gonna send them off take them somewhere to get coded but I've contacted several shops and all but one got back to me and this one that got back to me was by email told me to send them pictures which I did with them being on the truck and right after I took them off and I never got a response or anything back so I figure I do a little research myself and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean them up scuff them up and paint them myself I bought some paint today and some uh, scrubbing pads or scotch bright whatever you call it and uh, yeah so here's one of the headers now originally these were black and with the heat obviously I don't think it was a high temp heat or uh, paint and with time it like literally fell off and uh, they look a little uh, like bare metal rusty kind of deal so what I'm gonna do is obviously I'm gonna have to take the O2 sensor off for now wash these up scuff them up clean them um, probably spray them down with the uh, brake clean just to get all the oil all the greasy stuff off of the header and uh, spray it um, with the paint so here's the paint I got it's apparently uh, 1300 to 2000 Fahrenheit resistant and uh, here's the uh, scrubby pad so like I said, um, I, I ended up buying two of these at the local uh, parts store and uh, I've seen other guys do it on YouTube. So I figure why spend the extra money to get them coded somewhere else. Well, literally nobody really got back to me or anything. And you know what, I decided I'm not going to wait for that. I could do this myself. Um, stuff them up, clean them up. Uh, then shoot several coats. Now, I'm probably going to do four coats each header and uh, this stuff cures within 24 hours and like I said it is a high temp paint and that's the color I'm going to paint them. It's a silver. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean these up and then I'll uh, sand them down and stuff like that continue the video from there. Alright so I broke the uh, sensor loose, the O2 sensor and I'm just going to go ahead and unscrew it. Now I have these uh, flanges V-band uh, welded on here. It makes it easier to just clamp to the exhaust on the truck and uh, to take off and put on it's very easy and it seals pretty good so um, yeah I got these installed when I did the exhaust on the truck. So take this off Put it to the side for now and uh, I'm going to rinse it off with a little bit of water. So we're probably going to make a huge mess here, but this is just to get some of the dirt off because it's been very dusty around here lately. Uh, we're trying to clean them up pretty good so we have a clean surface. Let's try to get all of it. Like so, and then after this, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, start uh, scuffing them up a little bit. Now I'm not going to go too crazy and sand these like, or scuff them up like too, too crazy and take so much time. But just a little bit wherever I could get to you. 
As a matter of fact, you can tell the part of the either rust or black paint that was left is coming off. Like I said, I'm not going to get all crazy about these or anything like that. They do every runner as best as they can. It's not going to be perfect. And this is just so the paint can stick better. And I'll just chip off. So I'm going to continue just uh, scuffing these up and then we'll continue the video after uh, here with the next step. Alright, so now I have them scuffed up. Like I said, I'm not going to go too crazy. Um, I don't know if you want to get a little close. You see uh, a little bit um, where it's scuffed up and around the flange up here. Like I said, I'm not going to go too crazy about these. and. Uh, a lot of those people have been asking what brand of headers to use for LS swap. There's the brand right here on this side. Right there. Um, so, yeah, so what I'm going to do next is, well, besides trying to hang it back up here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray them down with the brake clean. That way, all this stuff, uh, you know, that in between comes off or gets cleaned off and uh, yeah so scoot back a little. Here you can see all the all the dirtiness coming off right here. So yeah, I'm just going to spray them off. I uh, got in between here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go around. Just trying to get all the surfaces right clean. We'll break down all the oil, grease, anything. Prevent the paint from sticking. So I think that's good enough. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to grow a paper towel just to try to wipe off and see uh, if anything else comes off. Just a thorough little wipe of all around. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to get every single little crevice and stuff like that, but. Alright, so next, what I'm going to do is, you can see the paper towel, I mean, it's a little dirty, but. What I'm going to do next is uh, heat it up a little bit and uh, we'll continue from there. Alright, so this is a little heat torch that I'm using. I use this thing literally for everything and it uh, comes very handy. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just warm it up. Hopefully we don't catch fire here because I'm sure some brake clean is still in certain areas. But I'm going to go ahead and fire it up here. <laughs> Alright, trying to get 
get it super hot. We're just trying to get all the uh, moisture out of it. Especially in between here. Between here because uh, I can't get in there with anything. So. big deal put itself out once at a brake clean uh, dries up or burns up I should say there must be quite a bit down there in the uh, down here between the collector so that's what's burning up itself out and then we'll continue to the next step continue the video from there all right so we let it put itself out and uh, we're gonna start spraying now it is a little warm and I'm gonna start uh, with little coats but I'm gonna mix it real quick Nothing. And I'm not trying to cover it up all in one coat. I'm just doing small coats here and there. this first little coat uh, dry up a bit and then we'll continue to put another coat on there. So. Alright, so I already had started on the second coat but I'm going to go ahead and continue. You still see some spots, need some coverage. And uh, yeah, so we'll continue. Doing a little thicker coat on this path. Trying to cover a uh, heavy runner. I'm 
I'm trying to make them look all pretty or nothing by any means, but I'm just trying to get a nice little coat on there so they can have that protection. So I'm going to go ahead and just probably lower this dent this deal down a little bit because there's some areas up there that I cannot get to. This is a little bit high, so I'm just going to lower it a little bit. Alright, and then I'm going to use this thing in a minute, so. Oh man. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to lower this thing because. Uh, I'm going to use this one with some time. Oh, there we go. Just had to break loose. I'm going to lower it um, a little bit down level so you get like areas on the top. See like certain areas right here I was not able to get around in here. You can see it a little bit so that's what I'm going to do now. Get a nice thick coat on here. So yeah, um, it's looking very good compared to what it was. And uh, I don't know if you want to go ahead and grab the other header. It's sitting right there if you want to show the comparison. So uh, it's looking good. So uh, flip it around the other way. The other way facing you. All right, so here is the other header. That's the. This is the driver's side. So we're we'll do the same procedure for this one, but you can tell the difference. I'm gonna put it next to it. So from that to that, huge difference, and it looks way better. So, yeah, so like I said, I'm using uh, this type of paint. It's a high uh, flammable 1300 2000 Fahrenheit, and it is a silver. Um, I don't know if this one has a part number, but most of them have a part number on here. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just end off the video there, guys. I just wanted to show that um, what was going on with the headers. I, like I said, I did reach out to several companies and... Uh, all but one got back to me, but then when it came down to, I was ready to take them to him. Um, the guy literally, you know, never responded back to my uh, email. And uh, yeah, I was ready to literally pop them off, take them to him. And uh, well, apparently, uh, 
I don't know what happened. Um, but anyways, long story short, this is what I'm going to do. Getting them coated myself and honestly they are uh, turning out nicely. The only other thing I do want to update you guys is, I don't know if you remember on the last video that I made of the OBS with the cam. Well the truck was sitting over here where we're at now. I had to move it out of here because they were doing cement work on the back and uh, I'm also going to get cement work done up front over there which is still not done. It's going to be done next week but uh, yeah um, we finally um, had the funds to go ahead and uh, do the cement in my backyard for the lift and obviously to work on the cars and everything and because uh, it used to be dirt and I just want to show you guys here. So literally, I'll say from here all the way to the backyard over there and a little bit over to the side is what we added and uh, we're smart, pink, that's where the lift is going to go and then I'm also going to have some shade later on, not now, um, I did mark more spots over there. Over there next to the lift and further over there as well where uh, we're gonna put some posts for a shade the lift is covered right there I had it for a while it's brand new and it's about time I had it uh, it's about time for me to install it and uh, put it to use and uh, yeah so just an update here on the cement side and uh, well I'll just let these uh, headers dry for 24 hours i don't know man what do you guys think leave a comment below any questions anything let me know so i'm gonna go ahead and uh hand off the video there guys and uh i want to say again thanks to all the new subscribers uh that uh, have subscribed to the channel and uh yeah so we'll continue with videos hopefully more often and better content and uh, um, hopefully the videos come out better now that I'm, I got a new camera and I did buy a Mac, uh, iMac PC and uh, yeah so thanks for watching like subscribe see you next time